Hey guys, this is Production Music Live with another quick writing session here. In this one, we're going to make a progressive house chord progression that's rather dramatic. We have another video on an uplifting one, and this is going to be a rather dramatic one. So I'm going here into this part. And um, this was the one we were playing, and I'm going to make it from scratch now. The uplifting one was moving upwards in your bass notes and with the dramatic one we kind of want to move down. So we want to go something like F and, and then we want to go down to something like uh, D sharp. We want to basically do this. But usually, if you play your bass notes like this, you move the last one up one octave. Oh, there's one left up here. In the first chord, we want to play F minor. So a minor third is two semitones we're skipping here. And then we're playing C, so a major third, turning this one into a minor chord. And um, the next one we're playing here is starting with D sharp, but we're actually going to play a C minor chord. So I'm putting in C as well. But I'm voicing the C up one octave keeping this one stable here. And we are also going to put in the sixth. So what is the sixth? If we are playing the fifth, that's going to be uh, G. And the sixth will be G sharp. And C up one octave. Okay, so this is our second chord and our third chord is going to play a C sharp major. So skip three semitones and play F. And then play G sharp, skipping two semitones. So major third with three semitones, minor third with two semitones. And now we want to play the ninth of that one. What would be the seventh? The seventh would be C. And the ninth would be playing D sharp on top. Right, and the last chord is going to be A sharp minor. So minor third. And then major third, skipping three semitones, playing F again up here. But now we're going to play an added two, which is adding the second into the chord. And the second in this case would be C. So we have a very stable C playing through all of our chords here. So here are our basic chords already and now we can just voice them differently to make it sound more interesting. I'm taking down all the bass notes one octave lower and this one as well. And now we can just play that one on top again one more time. So I'm copying this F minor chord and I'm playing it up on one octave higher again. And the same thing with this one. And now I'm just going to put the C down one octave.
And actually we could think of putting a G somewhere in here, let's see. A little bit of tension with and G upper octave. I'm also picking this D again, one octave higher. And I'm picking this C sharp up again here. And this A sharp could work as well. And now if you want to play it a second time, you can go up here to have it play a higher note here to make it kind of finish up there. Repeating the F. And now we can play it all together here. Okay, so this is our nice little dramatic EDM chord progression here. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you want to learn more about chord progressions, we made a complete course on writing chord progressions with all the information you need to know about the fundamentals and how to apply harmony theory on different styles of music. Also, we have another course on how to make such a progressive house track from start to finish. Check the description for that as well. Feel free to subscribe to our channel, visit us on Production Music Live, our website supporting this channel and giving us the ability to put out videos like this one and I hope to see you next time. Hi, my name is Francois and together with my friend Tom I'm running a channel and website called Production Music Live. In this course we are going to talk about harmony in chord progressions and we are going to show you how to come up with interesting and fresh sounding chord progressions for various types of musical genres. And we are going to analyze why some chord progressions simply work and others don't. We are going to identify rules and codes for hit song progressions because there are such rules. This course is made for electronic music producers. After a basic block of harmony theory, we are going to go into great detail. So let's get started.